Hey everyone. So I didn't really care for this painting. I didn't like the band of lavender going through or this little hit of purple here. So I decided to pour over. So I already cleaned this with baby powder and water. And I already did my alcohol wipe and let it dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour over this today and you can see um, how we do a pour over. So I'm just gonna lay a black base coat down. And I'll probably need more, but I just wanna get some paint on here. There's no reason to keep a canvas if you're not happy with the result um, that you got when you were pouring. But you want to make sure that you clean it really well so that it doesn't crack because it'll be more paint on the canvas. And I usually do like a bottle bottom pour or something simple over a canvas that I'm not happy with. Okay. So that should be good. Make sure I get all my edges. Okay. Make sure my camera's not going to do the little heartbeat thing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put two bottle bottoms on here, and we're gonna just do um, a really quick dirty pour. Oops, dropping my gloves. That's one thing with um, black paint, I always just change my gloves so I don't get it all over everything. <laughs> I'm going to put one here and one here. And I'm going to grab two cups. Let's get another small one. Yeah. Okay. I always save my drink cups when we grab a tea, a nice tea. So I'm going to throw in some white. Well, let me spray those first. And I'm using the WD-40 silicone spray and this comes in a black can. You can pick that up in my Amazon shop and that link is below. Or check at Walmart or some auto parts stores do carry them and you can see that I got silicone on the canvas. That's a no-no. <laughs> but it's okay because I'm going to be pouring off so we'll be alright. I pulled the cup back too soon. All right, let's get some white in there. I think I'll do some purples. So I'm gonna start with dioxazine violet, and this is from Soho. And I'll put in some Artist Loft Light black, light violet. And I think we'll put in just a tad of sea mist pearl to break it up just a little bit. Um, Blick Prism Violet. It's very close to the Artist Loft, but it's just a tad darker. And then we'll do some Lucas Permanent Violet. And then we'll 
to some Lucas lavender. Now, since my first color out, I don't want it to be too light. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Soho Dioxazine Violet again. All right, so I'm just going to pinch the cup and just pour. And the same with the other one. And I'll go ahead and pull them in. And after it dries, I'll use my um, paint markers to do a little center in those. So now I just want to stretch it out just a little bit. But you always want to bring it back so you don't get all wonky. It's hard when you have two to um, get it. Um, actually, I think I'm going to bring it off the edge because I'm kind of liking this here. And that'll make that stay up there a little better. I'm loving the colors, but I'm not liking the design itself. I think I want to just pour it. the way that the layers of colors are playing with each other. I 
I'm using all these um, canvases that I'm pouring over to um, use like a wall border in my studio. So they'll be up against the ceiling. I'm gonna wrap them all around. See, I love that lacing. But I don't want to tilt too much more because I'll get too many ziggy zags. So yeah, check out the colors. good. I'm not going to move it anymore. It's very abstracty, which I was looking for, but it also frees up a canvas that I didn't know what I was going to do with. Now it has a place in the studio. A lot of times I say that, and then I get an email from somebody that wants it. <laughs> you know, I do explain to them it is a pour over, but it should be fine. I've never had an issue with a pour over. As long as you clean that first painting well. Oh, I guess they were air bubbles. I don't see it anymore. So that's it for this one, guys. Easy peasy pour over. Grab all those canvases that you can't stand. Give them a good cleaning. Throw some, down some base coat. You can use white as well. And just throw some paint on there. It may came out, come out better than something that was planned. And um, you got yourself a new piece of art. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below. Click on the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook. Um, shop with me on Amazon for all your paint pouring supplies. If you're looking to get resin from Stone Coat, uh, that code is below. It's CWA, all in caps. You'll get $30 off an $80 order. That link is below as well for their website. Um, we have an Etsy shop. We are in the process of uploading um, paintings. They should be there hopefully by Saturday. And we sell our prints on Redbubble. And we also have a fan mail box, P.O. Box 863 in Youngsville, North Carolina, 27525. Uh, my PayPal link is below if you want to get in on the sponsor giveaway for November 1st. We do it every quarter. Every time you donate to the channel, your name is entered in for the drawing. And winner gets their pick of whatever paintings I have available. And I will resin it and mail it to you. And that will be your prize. So thank you so much for watching. And we will see you on the next one. Bye now.